All right, so next you're gonna hear from Eric Connolly. He is a rising senior at San Ramon Valley High School. And a few things you might not know about Eric, he loves running cross country, um, is red green colorblind and eats an inordinate amount of yellow tortilla chips. The title of his pre presentation is The Effectiveness of Vitamin D Supplementation on Bone Health in Thalassemia Patients. Thank you, Matthias. Besides being great background music in the B-movie, the song, Here Comes the Sun, a -da 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 -da, also illustrates just how amazing the sun and its gifts can be, and how sad it is when those gifts are gone. This year, I conducted research with Dr. Ash Lau on the effectiveness of the supplementation of one of these gifts on the bone health of patients with thalassemia, vitamin D. Thalassemia is a genetic disorder that inhibits hemoglobin and leads to anemia. This development promotes bone marrow expansion and leads to an imbalance of bone remodeling. This makes patients with thalassemia more susceptible to reduced bone health, forcing many to forego physical activity. Vitamin D is crucial in helping the body absorb calcium, and the lack of physical exposure associated with thalassemia can further impact bone health. My mentor and I conducted a study that looked for a correlation between DEXA Z-score in thalassemia patients and vitamin D concentrations from 25 hydroxy vitamin D concentrations. And we collected this from 68 patients in a longitudinal review of de-identified data. Here, you can actually see a DEXA machine as well as two DEXA scans that illustrate bone mineral density, as well as a vitamin D molecule. Next, we have our graphs and results. The first graph shown here illustrates the distribution of patients who had a significant increase, decrease, or stabilization in their change in DEXA spine z-score based on a change of plus or minus 0.25, which is illustrated by the two gray bars shown. Figure two tells us that 38% of patients tested had a DEXA score improvement, 38% had a DEXA score decline, and 24% overall remained stable. Figure three is especially important to our data as it illustrates that we observed a weak positive correlation between vitamin D supplementation and DEXA score, DEXA score change, as well as the fact that it did not reach significance. Finally, figure four is a t-test that illustrates the correlation between the average change in patient z-score and vitamin D level based on a score that is less or greater than 30, as well as another non-significant p-value. From our research, we concluded that there was an overall weak positive correlation between vitamin D supplementation and bone mineral density, and recommend further study on this topic as listed under the next steps area shown here. Overall, I loved doing my research this year for many reasons, but specifically because translational research allowed me to have an indirect patient experience, get the best of both worlds between clinical and basic research, as well as still being able to help every patient, every family, and every story behind every random patient ID number I looked at. Thank you. Well done. We were just commenting, it's the first presentation that started with a song that I think I've ever heard before. <laughs> now I think it's turned into a musical. Yeah. <laughs> All right, questions for Eric. Could you walk us through some of your next steps for your research? Absolutely. So some areas I would really like to look over next in my research is getting more specific in conducting the review and looking at how vitamin D might impact different variations of thalassemia, as well as doing a more controlled trial where we're more aware of the different variables and aspects about what's going on, because there are other ways you can get vitamin D, and we didn't really have access to that with the data, so it'd be really interesting to kind of look at those different variables as well. Thank you. I also wanted to ask, what was the brand of tortilla chips? It's only one brand that he likes. <laughs> It's the yellow organic tortilla chips from Safeway because my mom works at Safeway, so gotta gotta <laughs> represent. <laughs> other questions other than about tortilla chips. <laughs> I had a, a question. Um, how do you know how like vitamin D is like you know recorded or like is it 
like diet or with like a blood test? I'm not sure. Yeah, vitamin D is recorded um, through a blood test that measures 25 hydroxyvitamin D concentrations in the body. 